Hey. Let's go chat. Been a bit. But I'm actually like not exhausted today. Semester's over. The final on Monday, so that was fun. Um I'm actually really tired. <laughs> D &D. I don't know how much it like impacted me, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. Um but yesterday it was just like I was entirely out of it. So naturally that meant not being here. Um But I am here now. I intend to keep this going, at least till tomorrow. Um yeah, Final Fantasy VI, we're actually going to do plot today, unlike last time when we just did grinding. But it is an important thing to do. Right? Grinding is something to, to do from time to time. Um, I think if I need to do any more Esper grinding, I'm probably just going to do it off stream. It's not that important, it's not that interesting. It kind of is what it is. Uh, it's been, what, two, three weeks? <laughs> since plot development. Uh, so we'll see if I can remember literally any of the voices I was doing, but we'll just kind of wing it as we go. Um, other than that, that's all I've got. Um, it's nice to be back. It's been... I've been feeling real, real bad. I know I started late, um, but I have, I have been feeling really, really bad about skipping on so many streams this month. And I'm sure it's not going to be getting that much better uh, with the coming week. But actually, I don't know. I took a quick peek at a calendar to see what's going on. So I'm... Oh, okay. Actually, we might be good to go for basically like the next two weeks here. Since Christmas is on a Sunday, and so is New Year's. Um, I would like to try to get back into doing some fighting game stuff too, but I don't know. Uh, it's, I just don't have like that much drive for fighting games right now. Um, not that I think that there's anything wrong with any of the fighting games that I play, it's just... I don't have any, like, crazy investment in any of them right now. Uh, I think once the rollback update to Dragon Ball hits, I'll probably start playing that again. But otherwise, it's like learning Melty Blood or playing some more Guilty Gear. All right, but Strive's like a little awkward to play because I don't have it on PC, I have it on PS4, so I have to like jump through a couple of hoops to get that going. Um, and all the other fighting games I play are fine, but not too crazy. Uh, let's, let's get started with this. Potentially have a decent chunk. We are in section 11 of what, 25, I think? But section 25 itself is basically just the entirety of the final dungeon leading into uh, the final boss. So. Making some progress. Ugh. Admittedly, as far as this is concerned, the whole section off thing, right? Section 10 is technically all the exploration right? Um, yeah. Actually, play some game. Uh, so, that's odd. There aren't any guards. No, we should stand around. Let's go. Okay. Agreed. Everyone here is gone, which means uh, any items that were here we can actually pick up real quick. That we didn't get already. I don't. Yeah, there's there's a few things here that we might be able to do. I don't think so. I don't think we're allowed in here yet, even without the guards, yeah. Which that's where, at the very least, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. For 11 of the chests are probably the one item. Unless the one item is somewhere outside. Also, I don't know if I've said it too much yet. The music in this game. Top notch. 10 out of 10. Starting early with having hiccups, apparently. I don't know why it happens so much. My stream. Like, I don't... I genuinely don't. It's so weird. It's like, it doesn't, like, happen... 
that much naturally. Ugh. Alright. So we head over to the sealed cave. Of the assassin's deck. I believe it's a lock weapon. It's slightly better on agility and magic. Last attack. But it could potentially just one shot somebody, as opposed to Hawkeye, which just beats up flying enemies. Um, let's take the assassin's dagger. It's such a minor attack drop, but it kind of fits within what Locke is doing that I'm totally fine with it. Ugh! Provokers! Uh, so it's been a hot minute as well. Hey! But I kind of have to, like, remember how to run everybody here. Okay. Obviously, Locke is just kind of on mug duty. In this case, he's going to be on attack duty. Is the way that it is, but Cyan getting plus two strength from Magicite. Um, yeah, as, as a reminder, I believe Kate Sith is Magic Up. I need to do some spell casting anyway, so. Uh, you do not know him. You also do not know him. Do you know him? You do know him. Alright, cure lock real quick. Yes. Um, Ifrit is strength plus one, which is probably about the best we're going to get right now. Um, Bismarck is strength plus two. This is magic plus one. If that was the one that he had, which is also magic plus one in case it's magic plus one. So we're getting some magic boosting and some strength boosting on our current party member. Uh... Okay, so... a Kitty. If I take a wild guess. Yep. Uh, sword infused with the power of the wind that may invoke a cutting gale upon striking enemies. Take like a wild guess what the Pause Kitty is for. It's probably for the guy that has all the Japanese named weapons. Okay. He do kind of be confused now. Uh, let's just do a simple cure. We don't need to go too crazy with it. Oh, that's nice. Flurry! In other unrelated news... Okay, kind of cringe. Um... <laughs> is that a clash would be a pretty good shot? Yeah. Okay, kind of cringe. Oh, that's also kind of cringe. Oh yeah, she's currently set to just do cure, huh? Whoops, I'm gonna want to fix that. Oh, nice! He certainly tried to throw those parts, and side stairs asleep. How did this happen? Uh, it's just a normal fire. It's a single part of thing. Don't mug my own party! Get out of here! Okay! Um, can you... Can you cast anything? Or can you only cast... Can you cast the imp? Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, yeah, cast the imp on yourself, then I go. Oh! Of course the one hit dropped! Bro! I am so angry. There, break the confusion. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a terrible start. Mug that thing, please. Uh, I didn't mean to enter trance. Oh my god. <laughs> Could it be any worse? Uh, you also know him. Please cure yourself. Oh, jeez, okay. Big damage. Alright. Of all the ways that could have gone. It was so bad. Okay. We're off to a great start. 
Uh, it just doesn't work as fine. Okay. And we need another imp cast. <laughs> okay. Huh. Alright, so there's five enemies in here. Um. <laughs> okay. That's so weird. Uh, we got two here. Oh, interesting. Oh, not zombie dragon. Anything but zombie dragon. Dang. Honestly? Zombie Dragon's kind of a just use Fyra. Mugu Mugu? Couldn't steal. Alright, maybe don't use Fyra. You know, I probably should have expected Fyra to not be that great here. Uh oh. I don't think. No, I think it's okay. I don't think, I don't think it's the bad one. Right? Yeah, that's a Mega Flare. Which is going to do an absurd amount of damage. Easy. Wait, oh, yeah, walk up, look. And gets a plus one to his strength. Okay. No, not quite. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm figuring it out. It's okay, we still have other things to do here. Uh, oh, she's doing fire, huh? Now that I think about it, that's probably not a good call. Yep, alright, I'll have to change it. Bruce Matter Flash! That'll probably clear it, though. Um, what was I saying? I feel like I was talking about something. Like, unironically, I feel like I was, but I don't remember what. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I wanna stand here. Over. Grab the X potion. Head back. Okay, so I can grab. I can stand at that. There. I need to go over there, though. This should still be fine. Uh, I don't actually know. Great to strike! Uh, magic. Fyra. Uh, but only on the zombie dragon. Uh, so close. Okay, Terra. Chill. Don't actually chill. Do more damage, please. Okay, thanks. She's, like, running an MP, though. But you gotta be a little cautious about that. I couldn't steal. Like, I'm not so much cautious, but I need to be, like... I need to pay attention to it. Make sure that I'm not overusing her magic. I mean, everyone can do magic, but she's, like, a primary caster. Right? Her whole thing is casting spells. Plus, she gets a plus one magic here. Honestly, it might be worth giving her a couple of MP boosters. Um... Okay, I see how to get there. Though. This is an easy way to do it, at least. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Hmm. That's fine. I kind of wanted to reset. So this is going to go down, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I see what I can do here. Antidote. Nice. Fung! Um. I don't remember what it was. But I feel like I was like saying something. Okay. She's sleep. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Um, whatever it was though, doesn't really matter. Um. I can stand, yeah. But I can definitely stand here. 
Beiji's Jite. Is it some kind of armor? Uh, it's not doing the least thing. So, what is Haiji's Jite? Items, sort by item. Haiji. Haiji. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. Change the slot command to Gil Toss. Ah, yes, that one. Okay. Uh, not that impressive. Okay, I can set that one. Um, but still, it, it's useful. It's not one that I want to use quite yet, though. That's like a, if I'm using Setzer near the end of the game kind of maneuver. Um, when having money doesn't actually matter anymore. Um, Coco Bow Stampede! Which, unironically, is like actually just a good attack. Like, that's the, the one thing. There's not a way to get between these. Oh, I'm now realizing this. I'm realizing the error of my ways. Alright. The way I went is actually the only way to go. Oh, a zombie dragon. Yeah, that's fine. I could probably pull the zombie dragon. Hey, I got a free phoenix down out of it, too. Nice. Um, oh, so Apollo's Gate 3 just updated. I've not started, I've not played the update yet, but it just updated. Um, and they added the Paladin class, which is my personal favorite uh, class in all of Dungeons & Dragons. So naturally, I'm very happy and very excited to kind of try that out. Uh, it's got two subclasses that I'm not that big on. Uh, it's Oath of the Ancients and Oath of... You know, I posted it in a... I'll go find that. What was it? Oath of Pay. Uh, the, the Ancients and Devotion. Which are totally fine subclasses. I'm not gonna say they're bad, but they're not. Uh. <laughs> they're not. Uh. Like the most interesting things in the world. Excuse me? Sir, you can't just do that. She needs her life. That was very rude. Um, I gotta remember, I have just like an absurd amount of potions and stuff. This is why Locke is just insane. Right? Rogues in these games are always just so unbelievably powerful. For this reason alone. You just get so much stuff. That's why we're gonna probably be keeping locked for the entire game if I'm being completely honest. Oh nice, we got back home. Um right, for as much as we can, honestly, I'm probably gonna use lock. Oh I'm sorry, we got Mega Flare, my bad. Um But I'm very excited about that. They also increase the level cap to five, which means third level spell slots for full casters. Um as well as extra attack for the marshals. Which is always exciting. I'll get probably uh, actually probably lever, probably push lever get get thing. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to, to like mess around with it a little bit. Um, I've actually even been thinking about playing Divinity again, Divinity Two again. I never like quite finished it, but I was like right at the end of the game, and I had, I was starting to actually have a lot of fun with it because Divinity I've learned. Is, one of those games where you play it for the first time and you hate your experience with it because it's not great. It doesn't like. There's a decent sound. Because uh, it doesn't like tell you anything, it just kind of throws you into it. And it's not an easy game. But. After you kind of start figuring stuff out and you start playing it more, uh, it starts to get a lot easier. 
Especially after, like, the very opening. Like, the first stuff you do in that game is really tough. But after a little bit of time, it, it really starts... Okay, kind of cringe. Uh, it really starts to, like, settle itself down a bit. And you really start to have a, a much more enjoyable time. That's dead. Uh, there's no stopping this combat. Yeah. That is twice now Terra has been literally one shot out of nowhere. Hey, free energy club. Um, yeah. I mean, Divinity 2 is a good game. It was, oh, gee. This is not my idea of a combat. But if we can do Fyra on both, that's fine. I probably should have mugged the other one. Doesn't matter. Hey! Locke also learned Fyra. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not really going to be adjusting this at all. Door. And encounter against a ninja. The water scroll. Bushido. Bung. Yeah, that is a Cura on the whole party kind of moment. Lugu Lugu. Miss. Bung. Let's try mugging him again. Dang. It's a good thing we did that, Kira. Couldn't steal. There's probably something, like... Of, like, value to steal here. I'll put it on, like, a... Okay. I say you can probably steal something useful. Um, if you, like, really want to do it. But... No! And I was about to claim all the treasure buried in the ground beneath the big stairway for my own! Okay, bye. Safe room. And an item. <laughs> A tent? Wow. Uh, honestly... I don't think we need it. Um... Let's do a weaker Kira and a weaker Cure. And everyone should be fine. I should actually save the game. Smart thing to do. Yeah, no, what's what you like figure out what, what's going on in Divinity 2? It's nice to pick up like really Because you actually like get to do stuff. Like you get to actually just play the game. I know, it's crazy. Um But like unironically though, like it is it is a weird kind of game to play because of the way that it works. But it's not the only game that's like that. There's a lot of games where, like, you kind of have to just, like, learn how it works before you can really start playing it for real. And Divinity 2 is one of those. It's still a lot of fun, though. Oh, that's right. The one that's the airship is the airship. Um. Hey, how are you here? I almost made a mistake there. Uh, just do normal attack. Get you to a flurry. Hey, from what I remember, you can kind of control the slots. In the sense that it's not completely randomized. Like, you can intentionally roll certain results. It takes a lot of practice. You can actually do it. It, it is feasible. Um, again, not easy, but feasible. There. Got a button thing going on over there. We got a chest. Button. What the... So a lot of stuff here. Or outcast. Actually, yeah, we can. 
Auto combat. Nice, because not a class. Yeah, that... That's a, a fun little fact about plot is if you get good enough at it, you actually can control your results. Don't know how to the most stampede missed twice, but that's cool. And he's dead! City and Rabbit. Goo 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 goo. Nice. Terra learned him. Nice. Oh, jeez. Um, that's like a wild guess, right? Pirate doesn't work, so Blizzara might. Like, you'll, you'll notice I'm getting Prismatic Flash a lot. That's because it's, in my opinion, the easiest icon to see. Because it's the only one that's a bright blue. It's, it's a little bit easier to tell when it's cycling. Hmm. I'm feeling the one down there probably recessed the puzzle. I don't need a full cure. Or it opens a door. Magicite shard, high ether, another magicite shard, and Ultima weapon! Sword whose attack power is bound to its wielder's HP. E. Interesting. Would it be even stronger for law? Well, 255. Because right, if it's bound to the user's HP, then you'd think it'd be like a little bit stronger on certain characters. But, um, I guess for Terra, she can take it. For now. A back attack. Oh, Terra's gonna get bullied, isn't she? Yeah, bug. Oh, nice. It was a crit. Um. Yeah, right. Like, once you get too wrong, you kind of just. Don't bother with it anymore. But it can be controlled. It can be intentionally done. Which does make uh does make Setzer one of the strongest characters in the game. Because the thing that's supposed to be random being strong, probably being consistent as far as its damage, is pretty much always a good thing. Usually, it's balanced around the fact that it's not consistent. So, having it be consistent uh, is helpful. Nice. Well, it's a plus one strength, Setzer so gets a plus one magic. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna reach that. I can go ahead and dismember. Uh, yeah, flick the switch. I'll leave it alone. I'm assuming that that was a necessary thing to do. Man, not a single insta kill pop so far. Hey, dive bomb! It's just interesting that none of them have uh, insta killed yet. 
not the end of the world. Like, it's fine. Well, it has insta-killed once. It just happened to be on my own party members. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. There's an auto battle here. Uh, it will be auto battle. There's still one enemy we haven't encountered yet, actually. We've gotten everything else. I believe. Yeah, there's one thing that we haven't seen yet. Nice. Um, but other than that... There's better black! Um... You know. I'm not gonna flip the switch. We'll go up. There's some zombie dragons. Um... Yeah, I'm very excited. Oh no. That's the problem with using Setzer, though. Problem that gets mitigated quite easily. It is a problem that exists. Right? One of one of the slot results is in fact everybody dies. Um, excuse me? You can't just rematerialize like that. Excuse me? All right. Get out of here. Dealing with those. Go oh, away. Uh, some magic boost. Uh, I don't need to do that. I can. Ka bing. Ka bang. Uh. Oh, she can't cast fire anymore. She is out of mana. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to tent her up on the next. On the next uh, save spot, or at least like seeking back her tenter or whatever doesn't matter. She she needs some life, or not some life. She needs some mana. She is just completely out. Nice. Oh. There we go. <coughs> um. You know, I'm very excited for how, uh, how Baldur's Gate 3 is going to look. We also got a date, which was nice. Um, I know there was like a bunch of Game Awards and stuff that was kind of... I'm excited for most of it. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's always scary getting the seven. Because the seven's when it, it starts to actually become, like, kind of problematic. If I remember correctly with how it works. And Terra is alive. Never mind. Thought she was dead again. Um, and I'm very excited for Ghost Gate 3. I'm excited to, like, play it again. I didn't play, like, a whole lot the last time I... Like, sort of a character. Oh, and he's dead. Yep. I think it's somebody to bring him back. You do? Nope, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then you can just Phoenix down. I'd say Terra could kill her, but I actually don't think she can. He is just very low on health. Or, I don't know, on mana. Bruh! Okay, never mind. I was about to say.
I was about to be very upset. If the action just like straight up killed him. Hopefully, it's not like it did about half. Um. Oh my god, Setzer. See, this is this is why this is why you don't auto the slots because you can control the slots. You can rig it. Don't don't let him do it himself. He's just gonna kill your party. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. Oh my god! How did this happen? Hopefully the first minor clash doesn't have to take out the zombie dragon. It was not. That should be there, right? Nope. Not even close. Is she dead? Oh, but she sure is close to it. That is a huge... Heal. Oh my goodness. Terracotta cracked on the healing. Like I didn't already know that. Try this again. Maybe this time we won't, uh... We won't completely destroy ourselves with Joker's Gambit or whatever it's called. The biggest reason to not have Setzer in your party when it comes to uh, doing auto battling. Because you're just going to kill your own team. It's like the biggest be careful what you're doing button in the whole game. Like, I actually think I might swap him to just attack for a little bit because of how bad it's been. It's been it's been too rough, honestly. And his, his normal attack does okay damage. Not the best, but something. Yeah, this thing's super dead. Um, what else? Anything? I don't really have anything like new going on. Kind of, sort of being done with uh, lost this for a tiny bit. Or Magislite Shards. I don't remember what Magislite Shards are for. Oh. Someone's random aspects. Duh. Actually, I can just set this to the huddle battle. We're fine. I might actually want to go back to the save spot and, um... Do a heal. Like, just pop a tent and then hit the save game button again. That actually might be worth doing. Duh. Ah, okay. So, to be clear with Ultima Weapon, uh, it is based on user's HP. So the more attack you have, the better it is. Um, so technically it Currently, it would be best on Cyan. Um, so, Block technically has a little bit more um, than her. But, Terra also doesn't have any other weapon options right now. So, fortunately, yeah, let's do that. Oh, never mind. We won't do that. Fortunately, I don't think about that, right? Like, her weapon options are just absolutely garbage right now. Um, and... If we're being completely out of mana, it's... Ugh, it's not a good call. Um, 
I guess other things that I've just kind of been, like, doing. Um, I've been, like, kind of thinking about playing MTG again a little bit, but every time I think about playing MTG, I remember why I don't play it. Because it's... it's like, hey! Sensor finished learning a bunch of stuff. Um, because it's just the way the mechanics of MTG work. It's not... It's not something I particularly enjoy. Um, I, did I miss anything? Drugs, another patch of dirt. Dang it. I did miss them. It's in the save spot. Alright, we're gonna go back. Want the items. That's more combats where I continue to wish that Final Fantasy had a repel system. Because honestly, let's be real, it should have something like a like a Pokemon repel in it. The fact that it does it is kind of weird. In my opinion. I think it's fine, but I do wish there was like some form of like you stop getting encounters item. Yeah, there's like an equip thing, like you just like you like you have to wear it or something. Like, great. Nope. There's no such thing. Uh, I'll also, I will do that just in case. There are combats coming up for sure, because there's always combats coming up. Oh, nice crit too. Um, I don't know. I was like I was watching some like Valerian. Community College, uh, like some shuffle up and play videos earlier, just because I was doing some Legends of Repair stuff. Um, it's a nice background noise to have, honestly, because uh, it's just like a chill time. And I, I don't dislike the channel or anything either. Like, content is good, even for someone that doesn't play Magic the Gathering. There's not a way over there. Oh no, there is. That's right. And stupid. I forgot that it's through the wall. Um, then, you know, every time I... It, like, Magic is one of those games that, like... If people are like... Or, like, if someone's like, Hey, I have this this cool Magic the Gathering deck. Uh, you want to you wanna play around? I'll be like, sure. Why not? Let's do it. But I, I can't be bothered to, like, actually get into MTG. It's... It's too much work. It's too much money. And the game itself is just not that enjoyable to me. Because the game's mechanics... I, well, like, mechanically, MTG is fine. It's just... It, it's the mana system. How mana is in the main deck, therefore... You know, you can easily get screwed over on resources all the time because... You know, you're opening, or like you only draw land for like five turns, or you don't ever draw any lands after your opening, so you just kind of never have resources. I don't know. It's a, it's a struggle that I just have with MTG in general. I'm not a fan of not having the resources to play cards. <laughs> like, like I, I play card games to play cards, not... Not to sit here and do nothing. Okay. There should be like something back. Why not be in there? Sorry. Right switch, go down big stairs. So it's somewhere else. But I actually do think I want a tent, because I want to... I want to get my mana back. I want the MP. Okay. I should also actually take the game and not keep forgetting to do that. We have gained a couple levels, so it is worth... Double zombie dragon.
Um, but still, like, it's, it's just the, the way lands work in MTG has always bugged me. I've been mana screwed one too many times, and just don't like it. Um, I, I've played other card games that have better uh, mana systems, in my opinion. But, still. Um, which actually, taking a second to go back to Legends of Terra. Legends of Terra actually has. Uh, And stuff going on. Uh, admittedly, it's been going on for like a week now. Um, right, new expansion dropped like a week ago. Well, not even a week ago. The Pokemon was a week ago. But um, one of the things that they're doing right now, kind of, I I don't want to say it's like a last two raw before rotation hits, but you know, rotation hits in like the next major patch, I believe. Or, never mind. Um, I was gonna say rip, but never mind. Um, which, if people didn't know, Legends of Terra is getting a rotation. Uh, and I think that's a good thing. I think rotation is good for Runeterra. Um, it'll, like, kind of spice up, you know, like the quote unquote standard, um, while still allowing people to play all the stuff that they play now. Right? So that's what we missed, by the way. We missed those items. Um, those are just like this little, like, nub behind the chest for no reason. Because uh, it wasn't for no reason. Um, but I think, I, I do think rotation is going to be good for the Nether Terra. I think it's going to help keep the game somewhat alive. Uh, not that it's, like, struggling, it's doing just fine as far as I'm aware, but I'm also not, like, keeping too many tabs on that. But my understanding is it's doing just fine. I mean, they just had their, like, World Championship or whatever, like, end of your big World Championship tournament. Um, which supposedly had a lot of really good games in it. And also a lot of Aatrox, who just came out, but still. Um, Aatrox is, like, a cool champion to be using, though, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I've been playing him a bunch, too, so he's just a lot of fun. Um, but aside from that, right, um, they're doing right now, they have what, they, they kind of have them going all the time. Uh, they're called Gauntlets. It's essentially like a, you have to do seven battles against other people, um, and if you lose two consecutive runs in a row, that ends your, like, quote-unquote run. Uh, and if you can get seven wins on your first attempt, then you'll gain one glory, uh, which at, like, four or five glory? I don't remember the amount, but at, like, I think it's four glory, you get um, a free invitation to, like, an online tournament uh, that Riot hosts, which is... Honestly, I think really cool if they do that. Like, you can just like earn a free invite to a, to a tournament by just being good at the game. Um, but oftentimes the gauntlets have like slightly altered uh, rules and stuff. And right now they're doing a foundations gauntlet, um, which foundations is the name of the like essentially the core set to Legends of Frontera. So it's like all the original cards and a couple of added ones that have been added since that are like part of the quote unquote foundations set. Um, and I did my my run of it today, not really today, because I kind of didn't realize that it, like, that's what was going on. Because like there's always a gauntlet happening, and they're not always like unique stuff. A lot of the times it's just like this is the gauntlet. Um, you know, like, it's just, like, do the thing, and I'm like, ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure, I would be happy to play in one of those, like, tournaments or whatever, but I'm not, like, so like, inclined to do it that I feel the need to play the gauntlets. Uh-oh. Um, but otherwise, it, it, it's neat, but it was it was a lot of fun to like 
play some of those old decks again in a format where, like, that is, like, kind of the meta again. Um, for anyone who does play Runeterra uh, and knows what I'm about to talk about, I played, I had three in there. Uh, I did a kind of War Mother's Call uh, Anivia Trindamir deck, which is just kind of like a general Freljord Shadow Isles control with War Mother's Call and uh, Anivia Trindamir as like the big finishers. Um, admittedly, the Anivia decks kind of needed like the first expansion. Like really shine, because that's when like all like the good stuff started showing up for Anivia decks, but still, it was it was fun to play that. Um I also did Ugh We're here. I never got that other enemy, that's fine. I'm sure we'll find it up later. Sealed gate, I will finish my thought in a little bit of what next I would play. We can't control the characters. Okay. Down there is the Esper world. Oh, what am I doing in a dreadful place like this? It's an any place. Oh man, I remember how to do a French accent all of a sudden. <laughs> I know I, it, he was like French. That was like the whole bit. Also, Locke was more like up here. Nani? Tear quickly the gate! Huh? Oh, it's Kefka. Oh, we're going. Kefka, you followed us here. <laughs> Just like the Emperor said. Give them Terra, and they'll open the gate for us. In other words, you've been playing into our hands all along. <laughs> but I have no business with you. I'm here to open the way to my promised glory. You'd better think again, Kafka. Oh dear, you want to fight, don't you? This is just dreadful. You have to keep Kafka busy until Terra passes through the gate. Uh, I hope we can do it. I'm gonna mug him. Nothing to steal. Oh! The door is opening! Wow. Well, we kept him busy. Duh. Rainbow Terra coming through. Aspers, heed my call. Dang. They heated it alright. Heated it and heated it. It's open! It's open! Terra. I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's coming this way. Whoa. Whoa. We've released the espers into the world. Oh, such frightful energy. Oh. <laughs> Was that what a snake? <laughs> oh, there goes Kefka. Goodbye. <laughs> ah! Tara. Tara! The gate! Not only has it closed, um, but it's also been caved in to a degree. I don't think we'll be opening anytime soon. Where do the espers go? Better head back to the airship. Agreed. Nice. Well, it's just like a easy exit here. Um, yeah, so I played... Oh, hey, there we go. There's the one we were missing. To be clear, we were missing Glitch. Um, that's all of them. That's everything here. Um, oh, no, we weren't missing Glitch. Never mind, I just forgot we encountered it. Um, 
What else did I play? Oh yeah, I had uh, just general spider aggro. Didn't actually ever play it, but I had it there just in case. Um, for people that know what spider aggro is, or was, actually. It doesn't exist anymore, really. Uh, I mean, it, technically it still does exist. It It's just not common, because it's not very good. Uh, there's just, there's better aggro options nowadays. This is different Terra, so like, people just don't really play Spider Aggro anymore. Um, okay. But, that's, it was there, I had it, just in case. Um, and then I also played, um, a Yasuo Katarina deck. Because, as we've kind of learned in more recent times, especially thanks to the new Yasuo support, mainly the boat, uh, Katarina's actually a really good fit for him. Because that's like kind of always been the struggle for Yasuo. Has never had a good champion counterpart himself. Um, so having Katarina, who helps him level up, and is also just like a, a much better champion now than she was originally when the game released. Um, and a lot of people just like assume she was just absolute garbage too, but no, she's actually like really helpful. Um, yeah, no, that's the case. Uh, it actually, it's the, it's the deck that I played the most. Uh, I played that, I think, like, four or five of the seven matches, and then the other two or three was using the, uh, Control War Mother deck, and it went really well. Uh, unfortunately I lost on Game 7, which is the only one where you don't get to have two consecutive losses. Um, Game 7 is, like, or, like, your seventh win is all or nothing, so, uh, unfortunately I lost... I have. It was a close game though. It was a really fun one, and it was it was nice to kind of get to play like old Runeterra again for a little bit, right? It's only been like two years, but what happened? Yes, we all flew off together. The Imperials ran off too, as if they were afraid of something. Which way did the Espers go? Toward the Imperial capital, Vector. Duh. Oh, we're almost a Vector. Huh? What's that? What's wrong, Kara? I can feel them. They're getting closer. Feel them? You mean... They're a flash. What was that? It couldn't be. The Espers? They're coming this way! Sarah, watch out! What was that? Sensor, get down! Oh my god, lock to a work. Espers? Where are they going? They were angry. They were angry? No, you mustn't go. Please, don't go. More importantly, why are we shaking? Is it because of the Espers? Uh... Setzer? I've lost control of the ship! Edgar, no! We're going down! Oh boy. Huh. <sighs> so epic, I love it. Like, it's so dramatic and epic. It's so good. It's, it's honestly, it's the reworked music, really, that, like, it's over the edge for me. That's, like, really what it is. The the music. Like, the other the music is so good. I don't really talk much about it, but, like, I absolutely love these Pixel Remaster soundtracks. Uh, I can see the pixels! Jack deck. Well, uh, I have a feeling we're probably not going to do too well with that. Uh, don't do anything. 
Where's the shop? Look, it starts with the party members that we're never gonna use. Nah, that's, that's a lot. I actually... Uh, very well might use some of them. Oh, I'm gonna need this. Actually, I might even swap Edgar over... Or, uh, Edgar, sorry, swap Cyan for Edgar. Or even Setzer for Edgar. But I think we have enough, like... I mean, that'd be the thing, though, so it'd be like, I'd be either swapping Cyan or Setzer. Would kind of be the case. I'd either be going for Edgar or for Sabin. Because, honestly, I just like Sabin too much to say no, but... Edgar is also really cool with his, uh... But, we use our crash landed way down here. Uh, we're gonna head our way over to Vector. We're gonna wanna... Make sure we do some saves and stuff. Uh... What's here again? Is it a Chocobo thing? Or is it... Yeah, it's... it's it. Nothing... Nothing of... Interest. Oh! A back attack! Um... Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun playing, like, old-school Runeterra. Again, for a little bit. Um... And honestly, it kind of makes me think that, like... Maybe there should be stuff like that in other games. The other card game should do that. Like, obviously MTG kind of has that with the, like... It's hundreds of different formats. But, um... Like, honestly? Like, if Yu-Gi-Oh did it, that'd be great. I'd be so happy. I mean, not really, though. Um, I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh is a weird one, right? Because Yu-Gi-Oh kind of doesn't quite work as well. Like, a lot of people... A lot of people want that. A lot of people want like a like an old school format. There's a lot of people that think old school Yu-Gi-Oh was better because it's more interactive and because it's a slower game. I don't agree with that. I think it's arguably worse. Um, but we can't really get anything new here. Ugh. Okay, we should be approaching some, like, big upgrades soon. Um, but we need to just kind of make our way into Vector. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was like, I've played old-school Yu-Gi-Oh. It'll be, I mean, I've played it for, like, GBA games and stuff. Um, and it, it just isn't that interesting, to I'm being honest. <laughs> It's slow, it's clunky, and it's very- it's still, like, super snowball and sacky. Which is, like, the problem people have with modern-day Yu-Gi-Oh! is, like... You go first, you set up five negates, your opponent is going to play the game. But... In also Yu-Gi-Oh! You summon a 1900 beater, and... And then your opponent just goes, great! Either I have one to trade or I don't. And then... You tribute for like a 2500 beat stick and like Sabred Skull or Cybertech Alligator, and congratulations! It doesn't matter. They got a 2500. You can't possibly get over it unless you happen to draw into Raigeki, Lightning Storm, or Dark Hole. Uh, GG, shake my hand. That's the game. Alright. Brain Vector! Which I think we might be able to potentially do a little bit of job. Oh, gee. That, um... I take it back, I don't think we'll be able to do any shopping here. Closer. Honestly? Mad props to you, sir, for keeping your shop open. Um... While it is literally on fire. That's a good businessman. Uh, okay. Still no new equipment yet, but that's um sorry. I'm trying to 
I I'm like not like super reading what I need to be doing right now, but like I should be. Da 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 da. Like emperor. Oh, I'll be tasked to do a thing. What happened here? Wait, did the Espers do this? No, they couldn't have. Oh, I'm sorry to inform you, Bannon. They did. Probably. Oh. The Emperor is expecting you. This way, please. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um. Da, 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 da. Unless you're playing uh, the SNES version, you should be fine. We'll talk about that in a second. Da, da, da. We have two, so it's fine. Seriously, this should be easy. Worst case scenario, you have to reload from five minutes ago. Find mall, do the thing. Just in case you mess this up. We give the following answers for max point. I'm just making sure I'm, like, ready to go for this. Uh, I don't need to make the quick save now, but I'm gonna make one now anyways, just in case. It'll be a little bit easier for me. I've lost my will to fight. The Emperor's had a change of heart. Sid! Yes, but okay. I accidentally hit the stick, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when they learned that none of them were alive, they ravaged the entire city. Their shrieks of rage will haunt me forever. We're hanging up our weapons for good. The war is over. The power of those espers. I had no idea. They'll destroy the entire world if we don't do something. We're only helpless against them. We must find a way to calm their rage. We should never lust after power we lack the means to control. Friends, let us speak more over dinner tonight. There's still some soldiers who'd prefer to keep fighting. Please talk to as many of them as you can before dinner. Make them understand. You have four minutes till dinner. Please talk to as many soldiers as you can. Okay. Ah, dodgies. Oh, goodness me. I've killed too many people. I can never let one. Uh, it's five turners. How tough are you? Oh, jeez. Are they gonna make me fight you, bro? This is how tough I am. Idiot. Wow, you're really strong. It's all alive, huh? Yeah. You can't beat me. I'm the protagonist. Yeah, there's 25 of these jerk wads. Um, this is what the whole Super Nintendo thing was about. Right? On the SNES version, it actually is a bit difficult to get everyone, but it's not too bad. That must have been thrown in jail. Or it shouldn't be too bad on uh, the remaster. Alright, I mean, most of these enemies are on, like, the lower, like, the weaker side. You know, like, a few... A few levels ago. Right? I mean, Fang itself will probably one-shot most of them, so... Eight soldiers. Uh, the hard part's just making sure... Like, like, keeping track of the ones we've gotten. So that I don't... Mess things up too much. Uh, so I don't waste time. Uh, there's a soldier in here that I missed. Long live the Empire. 
I'm the vampire indeed. I could have done this a little bit more efficiently. That was a lot to read. Alright, Turner, scum! Uh. Program 65! Oh no, she's been silenced! Uh, 14. Oh, jeez. There's more back here. I'm sorry, sir. Didn't mean to interrupt you. I didn't know you were busy. Uh, it's what? Move it. 24 soldiers. We have, what, 18? Oh, we're close. A couple more. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about the chests, but, I mean, like, if I see them, I'll grab them. Like, they're technically not... God, how dare they put me in a place like this? Oof. I can't believe it. Can you hurry up and speak? Stop it! You're wasting my time! Kafka! What a bore. Okay, bye! I don't know you were there. I'm sorry. Uh, this is ridiculous. Are you technically a soldier? Or is that another door? I think it was. Uh, I still have a ninety seconds. I don't need that many more soldiers. I mean, I already know. Okay. No one up here. I believe I already grabbed you. He lost his family in the war. Well, upsetting, but also kind of like just how it goes. But I mean, hey, at least you're not committing war crimes like Kefka was. Right? That's probably a good thing. Holy water? Yeah, we have more than enough time, right? We have to go talk to five more. And I'm pretty sure the five more we can talk to are basically just up the center here. I could... Oh, I've lost the will to fight. War is over. The Emperor imprisoned Kefka after he learned about everything he'd done. Sounds like Kefka may end up putting the rest of his life behind bars. And then, of course... There's one final person to talk to. Uh. 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 There, um. There's one. There's one final person to talk to. I. Uh. Where. Are they? I didn't, like, miss somebody in, like, one of these side rooms, right? Uh-oh. I must have missed a door. I got these five. And the one in here. I don't know why I went back in there. I knew I got that guy. But I know all of these guys are good. If you could, like, move, sir. Unless there's, like, one hiding. Nope, okay. I know I got all four of them. I might need to do a slight reload here just to make sure. I want to make sure I got everyone. I got him. Got dude on the side. Got both of you. Got both of you. I got him. Unless it's like in that door behind the throne. I should have gone down the, the right side, but that's fine. I want to make sure I get all 24. We might do a reload. I don't think I missed anyone on either of the, the two sides, so it has to be somewhere in here. No. No. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to load. I have to do configuration. Return to title screen, yes. Load game, quick save, yes. We'll just kind of speed the dialogue real quick. Before it's unloading, of course. I've lost my movement fight. I'm done with this. Yep, I said. Wiggle in the six. Oh, yeah, Armor Core 6, by the way. I'm super excited. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about it. Armor Core is such a fun series. I'm really excited to, for Armor Core 6 to come out. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So those guys don't count. One soldier, two soldier, three soldiers, four soldiers. So I've got four, five, six, oh nice. He's dead. Like, no way around, he's just dead. Right, seven. So that's seven. So we'll go ahead, we'll go up the left side first. Still in hiding in there. Now, admittedly, this doesn't tell me where they are. The, like, guy or whatever. Oh, there was a dude, there was a dude in the bed that I missed. That's who it was. I missed the guy in the bed. Alright. Uh, well, at least we answered the question. Oh. Lushido Fang! I should be stealing from them! That's fine. Uh, mug! No! That's fine. Alright. I, mean, I didn't see the guy in the bed, that's why. Who want these? says the guy in the bathroom. Thanks. Okay. I don't figure out who we missed. We can get all of this done and then actually like like it's it's pretty fast. Like there's really not much like struggle. The only struggle is if you actually miss somebody like I did. Can you move? Get out of my face. Why, hello, sir. I'm here to steal a pen from you. And then kill you. Seems things have gone to plan. I think I can walk up here. Because I can. There's nothing here. Okay. Well, I thought maybe the, like, the one chest I would think well, would be there. I think I only found four, right? There was two, one in the thing. Or, like, two in, like, the one room. Right, one in the barracks room. There's one in here. And there's one more somewhere. Oh, never mind. That should be five, right? Also, it's 24 soldiers. As I said, have they more than enough time to pick all this up? I'm going to do all of this. Literally two minutes to spare. It took me half the time. Admittedly, the increased speed is quite helpful. That's kind of silly. A Kafka interaction, just in case. Because sometimes this stuff does actually matter. That's this game. This game is like really particular about some of this stuff. 
but you know, right. that's that. I now need to pay very close attention to my answers. Um, do I need to make sure I do a quick save before I do anything else here? Possibly two. Yes. That evening a banquet was held with the Emperor. Oh. Oh. I can't save it. Oh, this way, please. This is another, like, really iconic scene from this game. I'll sit with the returners if that's alright. No problem, Zed. At last! We can all be together, sharing a meal at the same table. But let us make a toast. But to what shall we raise our glasses? Um... To our homelands. <laughs> well then, to our homelands. Hear ye, hear ye. As you may know, I've imprisoned Kefka for his crime of using poison against Dola. Uh, what do you think we should have done with him? Or should be done with him? Um, you should leave him in jail. I see. Well, let's have him stew in his cell for a while. And then we can decide what to do. I'm truly sorry about what occurred in Dola. I would have dreamed Kefka would use poison. Uh, that was inexcusable. I am terribly sorry about what was done. I promise to punish Kafka severely and to work to eradicate poisons from the world. By the way, with regard to General Celis, um, Celis is one of us. Kafka was lying. General Celis realized the lunacy of this war long before I did and went over to your side. But was there anything else you wanted to ask? Uh, yes. Why did you start the war? It was all the result of my foolish lust for power. I've come to my senses. But with your permission, I'd like to move on to discussing the espers. Uh, remember to add, uh, let me give it an option to ask more and do so. Make sure you ask all three questions once. Um, so a few things to ask. Why do you want peace now? Because I now believe that working together is our only hope. I still have a few things to ask. Uh, why did we have to talk to your men? Some of my men still do not believe we should have ended the war. I felt they might better understand if they could meet you face to face. Okay. The Empire has been ravished by the espers that emerged from the sealed gate. They're just too powerful. I'll do something that'll tear the entire world apart. Uh, they have gone a bit too far. When the espers came through on the rampage, all of my ambitions faded in an instant. I find myself asking why I ever wanted that much power in the first place. Of course, there is no excuse for the atrocities I committed in the name of conquest. By the way, what was the first question you asked me a minute ago? First question I asked is, why did you start the war? <laughs> That's right. Anyway, I truly desire peace. I want you to understand that. You must be getting tired. Why don't we take a short break? Uh, take a break. Go ahead and save again, just to be safe. I'd like to test your strength, would you be willing to fight us for a couple of minutes? Sure. Ooh, Imperial Elite. Two minutes, eh? Hey, free potion. Bung! Oh, he did. Oh, he did, did. Oh! Oh, great! Dang. 30 seconds. Just as we thought. Um. Okay. Resume the conversation. Yes. Is there sort of thing you wish to hear me say? Uh, that your war is truly over. Alright. I swear right here and now that there will be no more fighting. And now, I have a favor to ask. 
After they attacked us, the Espers flew off northward towards Crescent Island. No way of knowing when they'll decide to go on another rampage. We need to find them and convince them to set aside their aggression before that happens. But, considering all the yet the Empire has done to them, I doubt they'll be willing to listen to us. That's why I need Terra's help. Terra's the only one who can bridge the gap between human and Esper. I have a Magic Karma transport ship moored in the port of Albrook. I had hoped to send it to Crescent Island with haste. Would you please go on board? Yes. I'll have my top general and some of his troops accompany you as well. Uh, general Leo. I'm General Leo. Please make your acquaintance. Isn't that... Cyan? Retainer to the King of Doma? Please, forgive me for not being there to stop Kefka. That was not at fault for what had happened. So true, bestie. I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. I don't remember what his voice was before both of it. <laughs> Please, find the Espers and convince them to cease their attacks. You're our only hope. It's there it goes, I go. Lock, thank you. The rest of you stay here. I smell a rat. As do I. It's hard to trust the Emperor just like that. You shall remain here and watch for anything out of the ordinary. Thanks. You'll be our eyes and ears. Keep your guard up. Right, and you be careful too. Now it's just me and Terra. And by me, I mean Locke. But now it's just Locke and Terra. So... If we did everything right, we should get a bunch of stuff. As we leave. We should get like, a lot of stuff. Okay. We'll find out right now, I think. I bear a message from the Emperor. Due to your decorum at tonight's banquet and your grace in speaking to our soldiers beforehand, the Emperor has decided upon the following. This will tell us if we did it right. All Imperial troops will be withdrawn from South Figaro immediately. Good. In addition, Imperial forces will be drawn from the Kingdom of Doma. Good. We will also unlock the armory at the Imperial Observation Post, East. You are welcome to any of the weapons and armor within. Thank you. Uh, and this is a personal gift from the Emperor. Obtained a Tintinabalum. Finally, I was told to give you this because of your impeccable behavior at dinner. And the Ward Bangle. That is, all of the rewards. Now, if you'll excuse me. You are more than excused, sir. Uh, five chests. We grabbed them on our way to Duncan Holders. Okay. So, we can now head on over. You would think to the Imperial Outpost, but actually, no. I say, but. Are we safe to trust the Empire? I have an awfully bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, probably not. But being real, probably not. But people do change. It is possible. Now, we could go to the, the outpost, but also we could go over to uh, the airship. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to the airship. Stop with the acid rain. That's gonna stop hitting my box open. Nothing to steal. Oh, you better have something to steal, buddy. Yeah, potion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, give me that potion. Okay, calm down. It ain't that serious, bucko. Okay, it do be that serious. My guy. It ain't that big of a deal. Oh, 
Oh no, we're gonna be Are we gonna be looped? We're gonna be looped. Alright, you know what? In that case, just kill him. As much as I hate having Terra continue to get behind on experience. You know, you don't know Raze, but you're on your way to it. Okay. Well, this is why we have 33 Phoenix Downs. Okay. Yeah, I might give her the NP bonus persona. So. <laughs> <laughs> Esper, sorry, I've been thinking of playing Persona again. I realize the other she is set to casting rays, which will do nothing. And Lock is set to attack when you should set the mug. It's kinda all backwards right now. Oh, I didn't mean to enter France, but that's fine. Now die. Yeah, so trance. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it. Trance basically is just like an absolutely insane super mode. Like she literally goes like Super Saiyan, and like it like absolutely like super buffs her magic. Good time. Like actually though, like it's really it's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I assume he's probably either somewhere over here again. Nope, oh, he's probably up on top of the ship now. A reminder that this is the only airship, I believe. Only one. He is not on top of the airship. Interesting. Where is he? He's, oh, you know, he's probably in like the. Yeah, in here, like the inner workings, trying to like fix it. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and Sid, too. This is a nice ship he got here. The impact from the crash landing really banged up the engine. It's gonna take a while to fix. Uh, let me help you. I know my range engine. I think I'll pass. You know, we could really speed this baby end if we axed the casino and streamlined her a bit. <laughs> That's not open to discussion. Now, will you please get out of here? Oh well. It would have been at least twice as fast too. Maybe three times. Yeah, you love this ship, don't you? It may be hard to believe, considering how I live now, but I used to be a driven man. Really? I wanted to make this the fastest ship in the world and fly it across the open sky. That was always my dream. Something different from what you're doing now? Back then, there was a person who kept me working towards my dream. The pilot of the Falcon, the fastest airship ever made. At times, we were friendly rivals, and at times, we were simply friends. They'd always talk about our dreams. Like, which of us would be the first to sail beyond the sky to the stars? But then she vanished along with the Falcon. My naive fantasies disappeared, too. Daryl, Doril, Daryl, Daryl, well. Well, good luck to you, Setzer. I hope you find your one true love or whatever. Again. Duh! Lit war chickens! She is casting Fyra and she doesn't need to. But honestly, it's. I absolutely smoked him. All right, we're gonna we're gonna ride the chocobo. They get all the way over. It's a hundred dollars or a hundred gil. We have an absurd amount. Like, I think we'll be okay. Plus, this is the first time I think we've heard the chocobo. Thing. It do kind of bop though. Like as weird as it is, it. It does bop. The classic Chocobo theme, like, motif or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, motif, melody. Good thing, really. But it's, like, kind of kind of a little janky.
Thank you, Mr. Chocobo. Or Mrs. Chocobo. Whatever. Thank you, Chocobo. I shouldn't be assuming things. But is there even like a way to tell the difference? You know? I mean, hey, for all for all we know, it could be a they them Chocobo too. Angel me. Eight thousand dollars. Hermes sandals, elixir, alarm earring, angel ring, black ring. Twenty thousand gil. Thirteen thousand gil. Still an item somewhere. I thought it would be in here. Oh, that's because it isn't here. Another flame tongue. How wonderful. The angel rings cast regen on the wearer. Angel wings cast float. A ward bangle. Um, speak of ward. It lowers the rate of enemy encounters. Beautiful. Um, prevents back attacks and attacks from the side for the alarm earring. The gale hairpin is imbued with the power of wind, which increases the frequency of printed strikes. So, brought a mithril. We already know Hermes sandals. Okay. Cool. So, those are neat. Um, they're not like the most useful, but they're helpful, right? Um, ba 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 ba. Pull the chest, clean the item in the first. I missed one. It's hiding in the corner. It's in the bottom. Um. There we go. Okay. Then over to Old Brook. Hey, better on Treasure Hunter as well. That's 50% of the treasures in the game. Which tracks, because this is about the halfway point. It's not quite, but like it's close. Uh, is this over? It is over. I don't suppose there's anything new in the shop. Most likely not, but... For sure, come. Honestly, these things are dirt cheap. I'll buy like 30 of them. I'll buy 30 more of them. <gasps> They're just so dirt cheap that like I might as well just make sure I have enough. If I even ever use Shadow again. I'd like to. Shadow's a lot of fun. Um, we can go to the port now. And in the port, I believe, is where our final missing item is. I believe. Teleport stone. Literally, was waiting for you. Okay. Ah, there you are. No Imperial General and a man I hired back in town will be accompanying us as well. <gasps> Uh, Let me introduce them. General Celis and Shadow. Duh! <laughs> Here's something the matter. No, it's nothing. We depart tomorrow. In the meantime, I've arranged lodging for you at the inn. Please try to get some rest. Celis. Hey, yo. Okay. Celis. Working for the Empire. Don't worry. I me to kill you. I didn't hire me to kill you. You know what I mean. Look, words are hard. Rough. Alright, cool. Put them there. Took the Leo. Take them back to the end. Two, up, over. Oh, I probably need to just be like, hey, I'm staying the day here. Yep. Anything crazy, Locke. What did I just say? Don't do anything crazy, Locke. Be stupid. He's gonna be dumb. He's gonna get dumb. 
Wait, there we go. Oh, duh. There she is. Silas. Please. Why won't you talk to me? I know I doubted you for a moment, but we can still be friends, right? Silas! Music's so good. <laughs> such a ah, such a good scene. It's so short, but it's like it, it hits so well. It's a lot of the scenes in this game. Like there's a lot of just like small little tidbits of scenes like that, and they're all so good. Part of why this game is my favorite. Alright, General Leo. All right, let's go. The engines are all running smoothly, sir. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Why don't you rest until... Got it. Keep out of the engines were dangerous. Okay. Uh I'm having trouble sleeping. Yes, yes. I hear your emotions have returned. It's strange, isn't it? The Empire used me, wrote my very thoughts. Now here I am, cooperating with the same people. Well, they're people. But everyone in the Empire is like Kapka. So, what about you? I knew that you were being made to suffer through horrible experiments because one of your parents was an Esper. Yet I did nothing. I am no better than Kapka. I wouldn't say that, but... The human and Esper can love one another. Do you think a human and I could ever love each other? Of course! But... You know what it feels like to love someone? You're still young. Someday you'll know, I'm sure of it. Well, you can't know now. You'll have to learn later. Who's there? Ah, Shadow. I thought I'd sleep out under the stars. Did you know what we were talking about? I didn't mean to listen in. So... I can't help you. Those are answers you have to find for yourself. Tara. There are people in this world who have chosen to kill their own emotions. Remember that. Ugh. 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 <laughs> oh, lock. Ugh, world's greatest treasure hunter. Let's do this. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You know, actually, there's a small part of me that wants to make Shadow's voice kind of voice. <laughs> such, it's such a fun one to do. Like, it's kind of somewhat fitting for Shadow. I don't know, maybe not.
I guess I'll figure it out. The rumor has it. The lost power. Oh uh, uh, my god. Uh, words. The rumor has it that the lost power of magic can still be found on Crescent Island. Neat, I would maybe. We're almost Crescent Island. But when we make landfall, we'll split into two groups. I'll go with Celis. Terra, you go with Locke and Shadow. If you find any clues as to where the Espers may be hiding, report back at once. Okay. Let's go. Shadow? Um, Locke. I, um... Come on. Ugh. Now you're gonna give her the cold shoulder? Come on, Locke. Don't make her suffer. Just let her tell you she's sorry. And or that she loves you. And we have arrived! We've made landfall. Um, first things first. We need to give Shadow an Esper. Um, admittedly, I don't think any of these are necessarily the best for him. Probably a strength plus. Um, Shadow doesn't appear as often in the party, so we're gonna swap Locke. And we're gonna give him Bismarck. Let's give him the plus two strengths, since there are no agility ones as of right now. If we do get any agility, we are gonna take that immediately. And I actually do think I will swap. Era, uh, over to Phantom. Give her a little bit more mana. Um, which, as a note here, I haven't really been doing it yet. Um, it is a thing you can do. When they have fully learned, uh, well, I believe it's when they fully learn it, they can cast, like, the big summon thing. I don't know if we can get that yet, but we should be allowed to do it sometime soon. Uh, Shadow definitely needs some equipment here. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, these... That's... Fine, Green Ray is a little bit higher evasion, though, but that's magic evasion. We'll go with the normal evasion. Uh, definitely the nin ninja gear for the ninja man. Poison, darkness, petrification. Bunch of... that prevents all statuses. Nickel... Glove. Oh, jeez. Black Ring, Angel Wings. Uh, Hermes Sandals is not a bad call for him. I guess Regen. Uh, can sometimes counter physical attacks. That could be fun. Um, honestly, I'm okay just making him just be like um like, alarm earring, gale hairpin, to make sure that our combat encounters are good and easy. Alright, so, we need to go to Thamasa. Um, training rages, or training Esper magic and belts. Got the money to spend. So, Thamasa, I think we've technically already been here. Thamasa, but there wasn't much for us to do at the time. But now, I actually can do quite a bit. Commonly, we can spend them a third amount of money on new armor and weaponry. Such as a gold shield. Father Tiger Mask. Um, I might get a second one of them, but I think I'll be using all of them. Golden Helm doesn't help right now. Mystery Veil. Available only by Feeble Dance. Better defense, magic, defense, magic, evasion, agility, and magic. Oh, let's see what she's currently wearing. Um, Power Sash. Gaia Gear. Defense and magic. Something that absorbs earth damage. Golden Armor. So currently, Terra has the white dress, which is a magic plus five, and a tiara that boosts her magic. Which puts the things like the mystery veil into a weird spot. It does actually boost it a little bit better, so we'll take it. Um, 
can get away with not doing guy gear. Golden armor. Having more golden armor is a good thing. Let's grab two more. I don't think I'm gonna equip the Terra though. Uh, I will, however, equip the new hat, the mystery hat. That is a slight magic increase, an agility increase, and a defensive increase. More damage, more rods. None of which we can really do anything with. Uh, we've already gone through the whole Hawkeye thing. Uh, definitely gonna grab the darts. And we'll grab two of the lances. We already have Hawkeye, I'm not using it. Um, and I guess we'll pick up one of each rod. I don't know who they're for. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we've met everyone that's like primary party member. That's why I'm like kind of confused. Because I don't think, like, I, I can't tell who. I don't remember who would be getting it. Um, and we have at least one of everything in here and don't have any of So, quickly all the shopping. So, go into... Okay, I'm not getting in there. Is this house? What brings you folk, young folks to see me? An elderly gentleman who has spent his whole life pursuing the secrets of monsters. Ah, Strago. I completely forgot about him. You can try who uses the rods. Espers, eh? Mm, I haven't heard that word in years. So, you know about Espers? Nope. Can't say I do. Don't know a thing. Not one thing. Uh, guys, I'm pretty sure he knows about Espers. I'm gonna be real. Grandpa! What? It's a child. Hey! What do you think you're doing, young missy? In her picture, she captures everything. Forest, water, light, the very essence the thing of the things she paints. Realm! I forgot about her as well, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about both of these two. Grandpa, who are they? Are they friends? Can we use magic too? Ch shush What a cute doggy. Back off. He bites. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Back off! <laughs> he bites! Go back to your room! Why do I have to go to my room? You don't have any fun. Because I said so. Now shoot! Fine. How did I forget about them? Oh dear. You have taken a liking to your dog. Hmm. Well, that child. My apologies. It's fine. He doesn't take to other people, though. Anyhow, I'm terribly sorry, but I really don't think I could be of any help to you folks. I, uh, I see. We're oh, just your ordinary, quiet little village. You're not going to find anyone who knows about those Esper things here, I'm afraid. Not in the Massa. Hmm. There's something strange about this place. Let's have a look around the village. You see us. Thank you for your time. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Interceptor. Bye bye. Okay. We don't get to see Shadow very often, so we'll pick a. Use the Shadow model. You don't, you don't get to see him too much. Um. Alright, time to spend the night at the inn. One guild per night. Why not relax for a spell? How about it? Well, I mean, if it's only one dollar. Like the dog also just like vibes out next to Shadow. Duh! Doing, old man. You gotta help, Realm. She's something happened to Realm. 
Yes, she was on fire, and then the flames spread to her neighbor's house, and... Oh, I can't even think straight anymore. Please, you have to help her. Shadow. Don't wake me up for this garbage. I just want to sleep. Interceptor, where did you go? Oh, what the? Oh, oh, she oh, fire! Ah, my house. The problem's in there. Oh, jeez. Realm. What are you doing? Flames. Be gone! Magic is forbidden! Magic? I don't care! Realm's inside! Flames! Be gone! There! Alright, we really have no choice. Stand back. Oh, and the old lady, don't forget her. Flames, be gone! Flames, be gone! Everybody do it now. Let's go! Flames, be gone! Oh, it's got even bigger. It's no use. <laughs> it's no use. The fire's too strong. They were storing an awful lot of flame rods in there. I'm going in. Wait, I'll go with you. And count me in too. I'm not going to let an old geezer go in there on his own. You call it a geezer? I'm only 17. And fit as a fiddle. Geezer, he says. Duh. Quickly! Alright. Fire's spreading fast. Looks like this house could collapse at any second. I have to hurry and find Realm. Uh, linear path. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> one, one moment. One, one moment. Uh. Uh, no, not amulet. Do I not have any more earrings? I guess I don't actually have any more normal earrings. Um, that's fine. Zephyr cloak. Uh, prevent stuff. Uh, barrier ring. Black ring might be fine. Hermes sandal, inch ring, black belt, alarm. Ward, ward bangle. Oh. Uh, sure. Very ring. Okay. Still some better armor, too. Uh. A balloon. More. Actually, no, hold up. <laughs> he, he, he kind of got some like, uh, he got some Master Roshi vibes coming off. You know, like, like, man's kind of jacked. Um, ironically. Also, there are chests in here.
relatively linear path, though. Just gotta follow it. There's two chests to grab, it'll be pretty easy to find. And then, uh, this one, I think it will probably be the last thing. We'll be heading into a, like, a dungeon after this, so... I think this will be a good, like, stopping point. Just because... Yeah, we're gonna go into a dungeon, so... Blizzard! Okay, they're dead. Hey, drink plus two. Huh? Oh, I'm surrounded by balloons! Blizzard! Aqua breath! Flames be gone! It's just like the way that like the sprite is like drawn, like the sleeveless uh Okay. Don't go through the door, I guess. Aqua breath! Oh, that's I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm over here looking at <laughs> some uh, literally over here looking at the wrong stuff and being confused. I'm like, what the heck? Uh the fight door flame rod I'm not too concerned with getting all of these on that fight door ice rod making sure there was a bucket in the room so we're still Let's, uh, instead of a mithril rod, let's give him an ice rod. And he can go to the back row. He is a blue mage. Is this what started the blaze? Ugh, it's a flame eater! Mug. Dang, Locke's actually got a lot of health. I just noticed. Like, he shockingly is, like, really healthy. But 1k HP is kind of a lot. I know he's, like, I think technically the highest HP character in the party. You know? Or highest level character in the party. But you can't just throw a fireball on me like that. Kind of cringe. But yeah, as you can see with magic, I can go up and I can do... Uh, like, Bismarck for 50 MP, which honestly, let's do it. Let's summon the Esper. We haven't done it yet. Breach Blast. Mer you know, I was kind of expecting a little bit more damage, but that's fine. Blizzara! Single target for 3k damage. Oh, nothing to steal. Oh, I probably should have equipped Strago with the Vesper. Oops. It's fine. I don't think he gains like one thing. Uh, well, that's fine. Nice crit. Oh, it's a nice crit! <laughs> yeah, like, he, he might gain like one level or two. Um, so it'll be like one or two stat points behind. That's fine. Not even. I don't think. I don't even know how long he's gonna stick with us anyways. 
Oh, at least of one of them. Braille, where are you? There she is. Dang. Look at the dog trying to drag her to safety. What a good boy. Braille! No, no, we're too late! The building's gonna collapse! Dang, look at the dog. Doing his best. Hey, it's Shadow. Nice. Time to get out of here. I'll use a smoke bomb. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. These folks are the ones you should be thanking. Thank you. I guess our little secret is out now. Everyone in this village can use magic, can't they? So, what is this place? This is the village of the Magi. A long, long time ago, humans used magicite to acquire magical powers. Who gained this ability came to be known as the Magi. I didn't think there were any Magi left in the world. After the war of the Magi, the Espers fled to a new world beyond the sealed gate. They wished to live in peace without fear of their powers being used by others. That left only humans in this world, and the ordinary ones feared the Magi's power. The horror of the war was still fresh in their minds. That fear soon sparked an inquisition. The Magi were hunted down and executed. Oh, there were trials, of course. But they were merely for show. And the only difference was they could use magic? But the few who managed to escape took up shelter here. Where are our ancestors? Our powers have weakened as our magi blood has thinned, but they remain in some form or another. If you're up to it. I think you'd be willing to help us? You said you're looking for some espers, right? Well, I do owe you one for saving realm. I'll help you find your espers. I want to go too. No. No, you will not, young lady. <laughs> Buddy, buddy. But where do we start? Hmm. If they came this way, they might be hiding in the mountains to the west. Why there? Uh, those mountains are teeming with magical energy. But according to legend, they're a sacred place to the Esp. Perhaps the magic drew them there after they went berserk. It's worth a look. Classic shadow, just. Like, I'm too cool for this. I'm a hired assassin ninja man. What are you gonna do about it? Idiot. Alright. Don't get the wrong idea. I just wanted my dog back. You're leaving. I'll search for the espers my own way. Interceptor. Rough. What a cool name for a card. Alright. So... That officially means we will not have Shadow. Um, Sporago! You can have really any of the ones that give you magic. Uh, I believe. Actually, that was fine since there's not with us currently. Yep, alright, that's cool. And Terra's got the mana one right now, so. But also, technically, be teaching a little bit of stuff. That uh, should be full light. Cool. We're equipped up. Nothing new in the shops, as far as I'm aware. Head on out to the Asper Caves. Um, we'll make a bit of a trek towards it. We're not going to get all the way there. 
Just because we have a little bit of time here. Alright, so we're almost there. Oh. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an enter trance kind of moment. It's looking okay. Oh. That thing died way faster than I expected. Okay. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna stop there. Mostly because the dungeon's gonna take a hop in it, but also because I'm starting to get a little sore from all the jumping constantly around those places. But after the Esper Caves, um, we're just about done with this particular section of the game. Um, there is a lot to do with Strago. There's a Blue Mage, if you remember from previous Final Fantasies. Blue Mages uh, have to like learn their skills from particular enemies. So, we have to go find them. Um, we have to, or rather, they have to be done to us. Um, which is going to be fun. But, still. Um, i go ahead and get out of here a bit early i know started late ended early but honestly i'm okay with that um it kind of needs to be done sometimes if i'm being honest but especially with this game sometimes like when it's like just like cutscene after cutscene after cutscene and it's just like a lot of voicing it can get really taxing really fast just on top of just actually talking um but i digress um, if you don't know these VODs, next week my VODs, check them out. Um, if you have me, see the next day when they go up. Other than that, that's all I've got. So until next time, we'll check out the Esper Caves. <laughs>